Welcome to this Boyle's Law experiment. So here we have got some gas and from the scale on here we can read the volume of the gas. Then we have some liquid which is linked via this system to here and we can pump air into here and this will measure the pressure here. And because it's linked by the fluid, the pressure inside here will be the same. So we can read the volume of the gas that we've got here and we can read the pressure here. To pump extra gas in, we've got a foot pump here, which I'm going to place on the floor now. So that you are able to get a reasonable reading of the air pressure, I need to move a uh, second video camera so that we can record what the pressure gauge is saying. So let's... And now we should be able to read the pressure and the <coughs> volume, the pressure from here and the volume from here. So what I normally find is easiest for this is to pump it up to quite a high pressure. Notice that it's behind a kind of safety screen that's slightly cracked, but don't worry too much because I'm wearing goggles as well. So I can now turn off this tap, which keeps, uh, prevents the air that I've pumped in from escaping. So you could be taking your first reading of pressure and volume from <coughs> the uh, volume from here and pressure from here. And then I'm going to let a little bit of gas out of here so that the pressure drops slightly and that would give you another reading. And then keep going like this and you'll get different readings of pressure and um, volume. Now, at this point, because I've got a valve on the end of here, in order to let out some more, I need to um, release it via this valve at the end. But each time you should be able to get some readings of volume and pressure and this will allow you to build up enough readings to get <coughs> a set of results which you could use to verify Boyle's law. Now one thing to bear in mind is that there is going to be some uh, parallax error because my second video camera isn't looking perfectly straight on. It's not too bad because the actual camera element is here which is reasonably well in line and the main camera is maybe not also perfectly aligned. So obviously if you were taking readings in a lab you would come and put yourself at eye level for both of those to make sure that you avoid that parallax error.